There's still time to apply for health insurance and start receiving coverage by January 1st. The deadline to enroll has been extended to midnight tonight after the healthcare.gov website got off to a rocky start. WSBT's Annie Chang is in the studio. Now, Annie, you talked to a few people who were able to get enrolled this past week. Well, Ann, it took them several hours of trying to get through the website, but they say the frustration was worth it just to get health insurance. And for one woman, it means finally spending some quality time with her animals. Rebecca Garges has two horses on her farm in Cassopolis. She's a quarter horse and he's a paint. Hey, Tom, come here, sweetie. But she hasn't ridden them in years, all because she did not have health insurance. When I didn't have insurance and I bought this place, then I never got on them because I thought if I get hurt, I wouldn't be able to afford to go to the hospital. It took her most of the day, but Garges finally got enrolled on Saturday and got her sister signed up last night. I just hunkered down and I was on the computer from uh, about noon until about 10:30, 11 o'clock that night. The healthcare.gov website has been heavily criticized since it launched on October 1st. Glitches in the site kept enrollment numbers low for the first few months and it still isn't perfect. There's some loops that I went through um, that I found in the system that weren't working right. Lewis Pullman says he couldn't even get through the system. After about four hours, he gave up and enrolled over the phone instead. Five million people trying to sign on a website at the same time, any website. I got a computer here. Everybody tries to sign in at the same time, it's chaos. He admits the government should have been better prepared. But with his heart and lung problems, Pullman says it was worth the frustration just to know he's covered. Starting January, he'll be paying $58 a month for health care. For me, it's going to keep me alive longer because I've got health issues. For Garges, it's not just about living longer, but living life to the fullest. We're going to have a good year, huh? <laughs> Again, the deadline to enroll is midnight tonight. Now this is for anyone who wants health coverage starting January 1st of next year, but you still have mar until March 31st to enroll for health care without paying any tax penalties. I know the deadlines can be a little confusing, but mm -hmm. bottom line, Leanne, people still have a few months to apply. Yeah, and if their experience is anything like the people you talked with, it could take a while to get signed up. Exactly. All right, thanks, Annie. Mm -hmm.